You got the victory. What's next? What's the plan? I don't know. I don't know, Joe. You know, what I plan to do is always stay focused on the task at hand and then make the plans afterwards, you know? It's been a long, awesome, and amazing journey up to this point. I would love to get a charity fight lined up. You know, this is a day and age, Joe, where a lot of fake people can take pictures next to Lamborghinis, post it on Instagram, and then the Lamborghini is theirs, right? So, you know, there's a guy named Hans Molenkamp who's been holding a lot of fighters hostage. Been saying he's an awesome pro fighter and that he can take out everybody and he's picking his fights. I would love for Monster to pick a charity of their choice. And uh, me and Hans go at it. He's got 100 pounds on me. He says he's got a ton of surgeries. I got a ton of surgeries. How about we do something for charity? He's got a 100 pound advantage. And, uh, you know, I think we can put on a good show for charity and make a lot of money for him. And, He's been, he's been uh, forcing us to comment on his photos. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you for my family. Forcing us to do videos and pictures with them. I feel to be the biggest nerd in MMA. How's it gonna throw a punch in the fucking dick? just in order to hold our contracts hostage. So, let's see, you put your money where your mouth is, Hans, and well, let's do something for charity. I'm sorry this has become a political event, but uh, listen, Dom, I love you. Congratulations, sir. It was a huge victory over a really tough young guy, and uh, I can't wait to see you again. Joe, not political. This is Monster Energy. Well, I understand. Hey, MMA commentary subscribers and viewers. Now, I didn't want to make another Hans Molenkamp video. I already made one and I thought it was sufficient enough. But unfortunately, I have to make another video. Now, I'm not just doing this to cloud chase because my last video did kind of well. I'm not Hans Molenkamp. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because I felt the UFC kind of let Dominic Cruz out to dry. Joe Rogan cut him off in the interview said it was political. Uh, I'll show you the definition of political here. Uh, so clearly not political. And Dana White also went on and commented about this and kind of defended Hans Molenkamp and Monster Energy, even though he previously had beef with Hans Molenkamp, which I explained in my last video. Well, can you tell us about Dominic Cruz and Hans Molenkamp? What, 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 what is the story there? And, and I mean, is this an issue? Obviously, Monster is a, a big presenting sponsor of the organization. So what's, what's going on here? Yeah, listen, it's, it's, all, it's all weird. Um, you know, is Hans a goofy dude? Yeah, he's a very goofy dude. Uh, but they're a sponsor. I mean, these guys are a sponsor, that they're, they're great sponsors. They pay these guys a lot of money. And I just don't think that's cool. So I kind of wanted to break down this whole thing again and give that extra support to Dominic Cruz because he is the first fighter to stand out, uh, stand up against this. And I think if, if you let him take all the heat, it could die off. But if other fighters continue to stand up, it won't be long before Hans Molenkamp is just removed from Monster Energy and they can go on to sponsor fighters without making them do goofy dumb shit.